this man, LeBron James, really had four separate Hall of Fame careers on four separate teams, man. That is insane. And I still find it pretty crazy how LeBron in today's league is a literal boomer, literally pushing 40 years old, and he still remains as a top 10 player in this league. This man, LeBron, has been a top 10 player in the league for over 15 seasons now. That's crazy. Not even Jordan was able to do that. LeBron James, ever since he was drafted in the league in 2003, had so many unrealistic, some of the most unrealistic expectations set upon an 18-year-old player coming straight out of high school, and he somehow managed to surpass every single one of those unrealistic expectations set upon him. Like, even his own teammates back in 2003 didn't really think much about LeBron. They were basically insinuating that LeBron doesn't fit in this league. But boy, they were wrong. As a young rising stud in this league, LeBron James was given rosters consisting of strictly janitors and bartenders, y'all. And he still was able to single-handedly carry every single one of those garbage rosters to deep playoff runs. He even managed to take one of those garbage teams to the NBA Finals. And then, as you may know, a man once said... I'm taking my talent to South Beach. I'm teaming up with D. Wade, Chris Bosh, and company, man. LeBron James on the Miami Heat was a different animal. LeBron James' stint with the Miami Heat was the beginning of his streak of going to the NBA Finals eight consecutive times. And he was able to win the Miami Heat too. NBA championships, one of those championships being his first ever title of his NBA career, being the best player on the team every single time. And LeBron James in 2013, y'all, you just had to be there, man. You just had to. And then LeBron James decided to come back home, man. He decided to go back to the Cleveland Cavaliers where it all started. He delivered a promise to the city of Cleveland that he was going to be able to win them their first NBA championship in franchise history. And little before we know it, he ended up fulfilling that promise in a very iconic 2016 NBA Finals. In 2018, LeBron was once again given a garbage roster and he was still able to single-handedly carry that squad all the way to the NBA Finals, y'all. Now, although he didn't win a single game in the Finals, he got swept. Just the fact alone that LeBron was able to literally drag the squad that he had back in 2018 to the Finals, y'all, speaks volumes. And honestly speaking, if that Golden State Warriors squad wasn't as overpowered and broken in the way that they were, LeBron could have possibly won the Cavaliers multiple championships. And then we got Lakers LeBron, y'all. Now, obviously, Lakers LeBron isn't as good as every other LeBron out there. However, Lakers LeBron is still a demon. NBA bubble or not, LeBron James was still able to lead the Los Angeles Lakers to their first NBA championship since 2010. And as of recently, LeBron James finally broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's scoring record, a record that seemed impossible to break at first until LeBron James came in the picture. Out of every single version of LeBron James, I think I gotta take LeBron James in 2018, man. Although LeBron James on the Heat was on straight demon time, man. LeBron James in 2018 was really different.